Plastics, we all hate them, especially if you work on cars or even if you own a car, this could get pretty expensive for you down the road. Now the use of plastics in cars today has gone extremely overboard. This is an engine from a 2020 BMW 3 Series and just look at all the plastics on here, it's extreme. Okay, so what's the real reason why all these always are going to plastic? Well, of course the number one reason is lightweight. It's also cheaper to make, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you as a consumer is seeing any of that cost. It's easier to manufacture because you can just throw it into a mold and mold it into anything. It absorbs noise, especially from those ticking direct injection engines it doesn't rust and it forms part of the crash structure because it just breaks into 100 pieces now the biggest con with using plastic is that it's just not durable and it breaks especially with all the heat cycling going on around the engine it's going to develop cracks and form leaks and then it just could break especially if you're trying to pry a valve cover off and now you've cracked it because it was made of plastic now they're also more expensive to replace so for example on this t-hose here let's say we developed a crack very common because it's a plastic part and you just wanted to replace it because these are now crimped on there this entire thing from front to back comes as an assembly you've now increased your labor cost to take half the engine apart and this whole entire thing is much more expensive than a little plastic piece of tea now thermostat housings are also an extremely common failure point on many vehicles that use plastic however some of them even come with the entire water pump as an assembly here's the thing it's not just BMW doing this this is a Toyota Tacoma thermostat and you can see it's also made of plastic and they are also common to leak now this specific fuel rail and line is made of metal however there are a lot of engines out there that are using plastic fuel rails and lines and they do tend to crack and leak and that's a big fire hazard that has to get recalled also not specific to BMW are plastic oil filter housings whether you have an Audi or even a Pentastar from Chrysler these are always known to leak at the interface here that's because you got hot engine oil coming up from above getting filtered out before it goes into the cooler now plastic valve covers have been around for a very long time they also do warp and leak and because of all the features they built on here it becomes very expensive to replace you can see this one here has been leaking for a while and this engine is only five years old granted this is a BMW which is known for oil leaks so there's that now when you stay tuned for this B46 teardown on this G20 engine you'll note that I mount the engine on the side because the timing chain setup is actually at the back of the engine where the transmission hooks up to once you get all that out of the way you're gonna find plastic timing guides now these plastic timing guides especially in things like your Audis they love to crack and break because they just make them out of really cheap plastic and when a timing guide breaks your chain is gonna jump time and then your valves are going to collide with your pistons bad things are going to happen and you basically need to rebuild your engine so yeah cheap plastics cause leaks but they also cause very expensive failure now plastic valve covers are becoming even more common they say it's because of noise absorption but if you hadn't had that rattly ass four cylinder making so much noise racketing inside of there and replace it with a naturally aspirated v6 or v8 you wouldn't have that as an excuse now the main issue with these plastic oil pans is that if something hits it it's going to crack and break and leak out all your oil unlike a stamped steel one where it would just slightly bend it also leaks just like the valve cover moreover though you have this drain plug which is made of plastic now if you do your oil changes like the minority of people who go from 5 to 8k instead of the manufacturer's recommended 20k this is going to start stripping out a lot earlier and then you got to replace the whole oil pan the transmissions are not safe from this either this one's out of a hyundai but if you see one from a mercedes they actually include it as an assembly with the filter and the pickup tube all built in and replacing one of those is extremely expensive expensive so with all the use of plastics in today's engine bays you kind of have to draw the line with those things that transmit any power or torque or hold expensive fluids or anything that's structural to the vehicle working with what can be accepted so for example anything that hangs off the body you think it's okay to use plastics surprisingly air intakes have actually been using plastics for a little while now but in conclusion you got to remember that plastic components have been made to number one save the OEM's money with the excuse of saving the planet now technically speaking there's many different types of plastics that you see under the hood now you can engineer all this to last a lot longer and that lifespan is typically financially driven usually by the warranty period plus one day so don't be blaming us engineers when they don't last that long as we're talking about the planet evs use a lot more plastics than a regular combustion car here's the drive motor out of a tesla as long as this is supported by a proper subframe the rest of the car might as well be made out of sugar gonna have a full tear down on this EV powertrain very soon so make sure you stay tuned now the other big question is a lot of these plastics are not being able to be recycled so you can't really use the argument that having plastics is better for the environment because you're able to recycle them so what do you think I'm gonna do with all these plastics on this engine when I'm done tearing it down I can't just throw it into my blue box and hope the city's gonna recycle it because that's just not how it works it just takes a lot of efforts to melt down all of these plastics organize them and separate them and
and unfortunately a lot of it just ends up in the landfill. So if you're thinking about buying a modern car or even an EV trying to save the planet, Think about all of these parts that are going to end up right in the planet that you're trying to save. Now you tell me in the comment section down below, what do you think of the use of plastic in today's cars? Do you think it's a scam the way I presented it? Or are you just a mechanic milking it, replacing oil filter housings and valve cover gaskets all day long? Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one.